Journal Entry 250 So we make it out of the mountains and we're tromping through the woods when I start feeling this odd presence again. It's hard to describe, but I can't focus on it. Then, BAM! We rock right into a beehive. Fucking bees! Mike panics, screams that he's allergic, and starts blindly throwing black fire everywhere. The man who threw down with toe-to-toe -to -toe with an archmage and consorts with demons is terrified of bees. I try to bring up the concentration to help him gain control while I'm being stung. We make it out, covered in bee stings, and Avery's still working and trying to heal all of them. God damn it. Anyways, we should have stumbled onto the goat path we followed the last time by now. We may be a bit off course. Journal Entry 251 We've been walking for two days now, and just when I'm convinced we're lost, we break out of the woods and onto the trade road. We were just east of it. We make it to Brightly before nightfall. The place is quieted down for the night except for the tavern, filled with loud dragonborn lumberjacks. Marcus got to playing and got them singing to Duran Duran stuff. Another group of humans is in town, a trade caravan from Winterfield that's been staying here until they hear back from the city. They've been here nearly a year and are afraid to return since the barbarian sacking of the town. We invited them to come along, but they declined. Come morning, we're going to resupply and head out. It'll be nice to sleep in a bed tonight and get a warm meal. This ration shit gets tiresome. Journal Entry 252 The Brightly to Wild Lake airship was coming in for a landing while we were on our way out. It's only been a few months since they started this route, shifting over from the Wild Lake to Winterfield Run when the Civil War started. Already the city's expanded in signs of new prosperity. The people are wearing newer clothing, using better, newer tools, and so on. Anyways, we should have a few days on this road before we hit the plains. Then, Winterfield. I'm not sure what we'll encounter when we get out there, and no one seems to know the condition of Winterfield. Maybe the whole city's been destroyed or under barbarian occupation, or maybe they eventually won the conflict. That's what we're here to find out. That, and vengeance. Hopefully we won't have bandit issues. <laughs>